What's up guys, Shadow Ninja here. Um, I'm going to do a small piece on the Hexiflexagon. Uh, if you don't know what it is, I suggest googling it. Uh, Viheart's got some very good videos on it. I can't be bothered to explain it myself, but I just want to do a little bit um, about mine, basically. Uh, I might do a tutorial on how to make one. This is a true Hexiflexagon, not a tri-Hexiflexagon. Um, I don't know, as I say, I'll probably do a tutorial depending on the feedback, even if it is only for Andy, because he still hasn't figured out how to do one. Uh, the recording's probably not too good because I've got to manoeuvre this with both hands and I don't have a tripod or whatever. But this hexa uh, hexagon, hexagonal shape is uh, partially where the hexaflexagon gets its name from. Uh, this is my test one, it's kind of smaller than the others. Um, and it was the first one I actually made. And all the sides, there are six sides, they've all got different colours on them and the numbers of the sides. So this one's obviously green and it's got one. And if I fold it into a shape like that, I can open the middle, oh actually I'm going to fold it the other way first so we just go through the sides in order as best as possible, if I open the middle out, oh we've gone to side 3 because I started the wrong way, but whatever, well, it doesn't matter, that one's red and it says 3 on it, and if I do it again, if this works, behave, you stupid thing, it's a bit rough, it goes to yellow and it's got 2's on it, so that's the second side, so we've seen 3 sides, now, if I did it that way and opened it again, we'd go to one, see the ones in there, and obviously that opens up. Instead of that, I'm going to fold it to the other way and open it up, and we'll go to side four, which is pink. I don't know how well the camera's picking this up, but it's pink. Now, from here, we can only fold it one way, and that takes us back to three. Now, this three is actually different to the other three, as I will show you on the more patterned ones. Uh, it's incredibly easy to see on those. But, uh, and if we fold it again, it'll go back to two. Um, and basically you can do this from each of the three starting primary one, two, three sides. Uh, for example, this one usually goes to three. However, if I do it again, we'll go to five, which is blue. This was in like the world's crappiest oil pastels. Um, but anyway, and this five then goes to two, which is a different two. Um, but I will explain more about that. And then back to one. And then if we go for uh, the final side, three, if we fold that, it'll go to six, which I left white, because white's a perfectly normal colour. And then back to a different one. But anyway, that's basically how this works, and I'm just going to stick that over there. Now, this is the second one I made. Um, I don't know how well the camera's picking this up again, as I say. I'm just trying to do something with the light. I don't know. I'm literally just using a desk lamp. Anyway, I don't know how all the pattern's coming out on this, but whatever. So this is effectively my one side. If I fold this one, same shape as before, not that way, that, that was the wrong side. We'll go to the two side, which has got folded a bit, but I can't do anything about that. And if we do that again, not that way, I'm mucking myself up by having to talk. We'll go to the three side. Um, these are all pretty bland, but whatever. If we go back to one, See, now this, uh, well, or actually, just look at the pattern, not that one again, curse me, look at the pattern, remember these three patterns, look at the pattern, because these are the uh, primary one, two, and three, which I will be uh, proving a different. Now, if we go to, this will, uh, I think, be the sixth side, which I just did like that. If I now go to what should be the two side, I believe it is. Is it two? I don't know. Look at me asking you um, if this behaves better. No, it's the three side. You can see that the red bits are on the outside now instead of in the middle. So this is actually the inverse of the uh, three sides as it was before. And that can be seen on all of them. So if I go to the two side now, so with the purple and stuff, um, we should, if I now go the f five side, I believe, and if I now go to the one side, the green bits are around the edge. Um, and if you're going to pattern these, you've got to take that into a uh, take that into account so that the patterns look quite nice anyway. And we're back to the normal two. Uh, and if we just step forward to three, uh, can you see the reds on the middle again? If I fold this. Not that way. I keep doing this. I'm rotating it too far. If I fold this, we'll get to the four side. 
the light's really not coming out very well on this, but I might be able to do something about that in post-edit. And then we'll get back to this two side, which is inversed, with the yellow bits around the edge. And that's basically what happens. Um, I'm just going to set that out to the one side, just because that's how I like to leave them. Uh, and then we've got the third one, which I did earlier today, which is more complex, but the colours should probably come out a bit better. Uh, if I... Oh, I'm just going to try and do something with the light again. Maybe if I do that, just so you can see these sides. That's got a kind of uh, three-way yin-yang thing. Um, if I go through, not that way, to side two, we've got this star type pattern. And if I go to side three, not that way again, oh, I've really got to get used to this. Or actually, I think this is actually side one. So the last one was three, the first one was two. But that's side one. Um, and we're now going to try and go for some of the others. So there's that side. The four, five, six sides will never appear inverse unless you flip it over. So that's like side whatever it is, six, I think. That will be side six. Uh, and then we have this star the opposite way around. So this is kind of what I was saying about the patterns have to kind of work in inverse, because that still looks quite good to my opinion. Um, I forgot what I was going to say now. It was going to be something profound and you've missed it. How dare you. Anyway, um, so we'll go through to side two. We'll open that up. We'll get my side five. And then we'll get the inverse of side one. Can you see how they're around the outside now? If I put that down and lift the camera up so we don't get as much glare. And now we we'll go to side three. That way. No, oh, damn it. I, I'm going to keep doing that at all times. Side three, this star, back the right way around again now. Um, and we'll try. No. Oh, it has to be when I'm recording that I get this wrong. We'll go to side four. Four, I think. Yeah, so four, five, six will never be uh, rotated in any way unless I. Um, oh, I'll show you. And then we'll go back to side one. And the three-way yin-yang will be around the edge now, instead of in the middle. Uh, I say the th uh, four, five, six will never be rotated unless you flip it over. Over. So basically, you do, in a way, have an inverse side to that. But I'm considering this from one face only. So there'll be nine states instead of twelve. And then we're back to the star. So that's essentially what happens. Uh, I do suggest checking out Vi Hart's videos if you want to know how these work um, and I will consider putting up a tutorial depending on what people want if you want to make one of these uh, and I've got a little sheet somewhere explaining well, actually no screw it I'll just start a new one basically what happens I'm going to have to try and not be in my shadow here but whatever you've got your first state don't do that looking through the camera your second state and your third uh, not state face you got your first three faces, which can all turn into one another. But from your first face, you can then go to your sixth face. Um, I'm aware the camera's not picking this up too well. Uh, I'll tell you what, if the light's switched off to that, no, that does not help at all. You can then go to your sixth face, and logic dictates that you can then go, I'm going to do this in pencil, from your sixth your third but as I proved not very well but whatever this is actually a different state of three so we're gonna get rid of that and I'm going to just say this goes to three star because it's a different state of three and from there you can only go back to one instead of from three you can go well I'll, I'll come to that one there. Uh, and exactly the same way the two can go to five uh, which then will go to let me just figure this out, 1, and then that can only go back to 2, because that's a different state, so that'll be 1 star, and the 3 can obviously go to 4, which can then go back to 2 star. Um, and the reason this is a different state, like, say, this starred one is a different state, is because this 2 here can go to either 3 or 5, but this 2, 2 star, can only go to 3 which is why it's uh, classed as a different state. 
which means over and all there are nine states in a hexaflexagon. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace off.